Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and iOS 13 beta 7 has just been released. So in this video, I will cover what's new and also what has changed on iOS 13 beta 7. Now beta 7 of iOS 13 is a pretty small update. It will come at your device at around 300 megabytes. Now it mostly will contain bug fixes and also improvements. You will see a ton of tweaks here and there, but of course not much new features. So here are some of the new features and changes that I have been able to notice until now. The first change that you will notice is that when you turn to the dark mode, the wallpaper dimming will be way different. Now previously it would dim the wallpaper and also change it con its contrast and make it look really really different. Now what it does is that it just adds basically a kind of a shade to the wallpaper. You can see right there. It will just add like a dim there on the background, a nice shade and won't touch the contrast at all. So pretty much the wallpaper will look still exactly the same but just a bit darker. If you're using beta apps on your device, on iOS 13 beta 7 you will find this new splash screen for the test flight app. Another really welcome change on iOS 13 beta 7 is that you can now actually 3D touch on an icon and slide up on one of the options right here. Now previously you had to basically 3D touch and then you would have to release your finger to tap one of the options. Of course, this was a feature way before, but on the betas of iOS 13, it wasn't here. Now you will have that option just slide up right here, right into the menu of the 3D Touch. Another change on the home screen can be seen on the icons of the folders. Basically, Apple has reverted them to the way they used to be before. It was much more contrast on beta 6. They had a very different look, but now it's back to the old one. The dynamic wallpaper thumbnails have been fixed. For some reason, they used to be grayed out. Now they have been fixed and they show properly. Another thing that I have noticed is that the screenshot has also reverted to the old one. Now previously it used to have like rounded corners. I don't know if that was fixed on beta 6 or in this beta. I believe it's in this one, but we have still the same as it used to be before. Not that one with the rounded corners. So that is it for this video guys. These are some of the new features and changes of iOS 13 beta 7. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Of course, I will do a follow up video on iOS 13 beta 7 with more new features as we discover them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.